hey, you and you and you. Do you remember that OGL thing that happened a couple years ago? Oh, the original Gangster Lives. Who? No, no, the the open gaming license. Oh yeah, um, the thing that pissed many of the D and D community people off. Yes, a lot. That thing. Well, because of that whole thing, a lot of people decided, you know what? I don't need this anymore. I'm just going to create my own tabletop role playing game, TTRPG, and then they did, which was kind of cool. Yeah, lots of them coming out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little oversaturated at this point. Maybe, but you know, it gives us uh, lots of variety. Th- isn't there some kind of saying about the variety being the spice of life or something like that? Something like that. Well, anyway, so this really cool dude on YouTube called The Dungeon Coach, he created this uh, TTRPG called DC20, which is actually like hilarious. I don't know if you ever noticed it, but it's like uh, DC, like difficulty class, like, you know, a DC20 is super hard to beat, right? Like top notch there. Um, but it's also Dungeon Coach. Yeah, DC, yeah, D- DC get it. double entendre yeah, going on. Yeah. But no matter what, either way, you rolled a critical success on this one. Yeah, he did. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> not lame at all, but I hope he hears that from me because it's true. It's true. This is a really cool game system. So basically what we're going to be doing here on this podcast is talking through – uh, you know, the things that we are noticing about DC20. We are starting to play test it um, every other Tuesday live on YouTube Live. Um, and, uh, and it's Mark Anthony's own campaign that he is homebrewing with the rules for DC20. Yeah. Come take a look. It's, this, that'll be a spot where we're going to fail a <laughs> lot and learn a whole lot more about the game, kind of go in depth with everything. Um, as we're kind of hoping that the campaign will move forward at a pace similar to the pace at which content comes out from the Dungeon Coach to progress your game. Yeah. So, um, so that you know, if you tune into that game, you can really compare how we're experiencing that tabletop RPG versus D and D, which is what the other campaigns on our channel are, are the system that they're using. So. Um, so, you know, this uh, podcast is really going to focus on, you know, looking at the things that we like about DC20, the things that are kind of on our wish list for future iterations, because it's still in the alpha phase, uh, which we'd love because there's lots of really cool, innovative development happening. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about, you know, what we love. Um, we're going to compare it to D&D because, I mean, let's be real, that's really all we know. <laughs> um, and that's what we play all the time. Uh, and, you know, we're going to... We're gonna just kind of give our perspective on it. We're we're not gonna like teach you the game. Like that's, you can go to the dungeon coach for that. We might that. eventually make another playlist once things are more solidified. Sure. And and give you our our, I don't know, rule breakdowns. But for now and for the near and foreseeable future, yeah, we will not be going in depth on the rules. Just some of those cool compare and contrast style conversations that we'll have. Comparing DC20 to D&D. So we're going to talk about stuff like how there's customizable ancestries in DC20. So if you want to be a character that has a kind of mixed lineage, that you'll be able to pick and choose different little aspects about your character that you have kept through that um, process. Along with you know some of the class stuff, there's attribute differences, um, and multi-class changes where you basically get to pick the things that you like most and bring those into your character and have really this full-on customized character that's exactly how you want it to be. Um, also talking about ways to homebrew some of these DC20 rules into D&D um, to kind of, I don't know, if some of them, some of the rules just make a little more sense. Mana points, for instance, instead of spell slots. Love um, that. Yeah, so that that'll be one one thing you can just bring over straight into your D and D campaign. Don't switch everything up. Don't fully migrate. But that is something that sounds like it's on the horizon, coming from Dungeon Coach, a method of migrating from D and D to DC twenty um, for a more smooth transition there. Those are those are a couple of the things that we'll definitely be talking about, along with kind of going through the list of major differences and giving you our viewpoints there. Yeah, and, and so much more. 
Um, so if there are things that, that you are curious about or topics that you want us to cover, go ahead and drop those in the comments of this video or, or really any of our videos as, as they come up. And, uh, and we'll make a video of it. Why not? Yeah. Definitely go check Dungeon Coach out on his YouTube. Um, He's linked in our description below. True. And come by, hang out with us while we fumble around DC20 on Tuesdays. Um, it's a lot of fun. And it also will be able to be compared pretty much directly by the same exact players who play our Tuesday um, D&D campaign are in our Tuesday DC20 campaign. So you'll be able to see that that difference with the players as well. Yeah, and our um, DC20 live stream is uh, moderated. So you can pop in if you have questions about why we did something the way we did or you know, you're curious about how something played out because of the differences between DC20 and D&D. &D, you can pop those in the chat and we'll have somebody ready to ready to help answer questions and get more clarification. Yep. And or just talk crap about the characters because we also love doing that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> see you there and see you here and take a look over all over the place on our channel. There's plenty of stuff to take to learn and watch and have fun with. So until next time, see we'll you see in paradise. You in paradise. <laughs> I love how lame this is. See you in paradise. Grab a paradise.